Hello guys, here's another video about open source project Vito Deploy Vito. We've been looking at its source for a few videos on this channel, and this will be probably the last one at least for a while. Maybe I will notice something interesting else, but today I want to talk about Livewire and specifically how this project uses Livewire in its code. It doesn't matter Livewire 2 or Livewire 3, the question is architecturally. How to use Livewire in Laravel project between routes, controllers and Livewire components. Because typically people are asking me and others on forums and elsewhere how exactly to use Livewire. There are two kind of main opposite directions. Use Livewire components as full page components instead of Laravel controllers or use Laravel as the core of the project and then use Livewire components only for small dynamic parts. Personally, I'm trying to do the second way more often because to me, historically, Livewire has been always for small dynamic elements, but some people use that for full page components and that's totally fine. It is possible, working and approved. But in this case, in case of Vita Deploy, it's kind of even the third way in the middle. Let's take a look and I'll share my opinion. Also, I will show you an interesting kind of trick with wire polling, how the author implemented broadcasting to refresh the data every five seconds. So the project is for server management. And if we take a look at the main routes file, it's not that many routes, to be honest. It's about server doing something. So there's main server controller with prefix of servers. And then with servers, you can change settings, databases, sites, PHP versions, and other stuff. And if we take a look at the tree of files in the project, in app, HTTP folder, there's controllers with a dozen or so controllers, but then there's app HTTP live wire with many more files with subfolders. And it is using, by the way, Livewire 2. So it's still app HTTP Livewire. In Livewire 3, it would be app Livewire. I talk about all those changes in my latest course about Livewire 3 on Laravel Daily.com. But this is not the point. The point is that the author uses controller, so Laravel server controller, then in that server controller is just index method that shows the view. And notice there's no data here. And inside of that server's index, it loads Livewire component among Blade components as well. And then inside of that server's list component, we have the render with server all here. So in my personal opinion, it's not the best way to use Livewire. Maybe I'm wrong here. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but that server list should be a full page component instead. So if we go to that index blade, it's X app layout with some title, but Livewire allows you to create a template layout. In this case, I'm showing Livewire 3 documentation. So if you have layouts app blade like this, then you can create full page components and this part will be Livewire. So in my opinion, in this case, if controller doesn't do anything additionally, that routes web should point directly to Livewire component instead. Again, maybe I'm missing something here, so correct me in the comments, but I think there are still two ways to use Livewire either full page components or small dynamic elements. In this case, it's a full page component on top of Laravel controller that doesn't really do anything or serve any purpose. So that's one thing I wanted to show you. And then another thing, the server list component itself to get the list of all the servers has this thing, use a refresh component on broadcast. And this is a trait that is used in many live wire components to basically refresh the data. Refresh means re-render, whatever that is. Re-render the list, re-render the detail of certain server. For example, I see server status component, which also uses refresh component on broadcast. And when I dig deeper to search for where it is actually refreshed, where it is broadcasted, I found this component. There's app live wire component broadcast, which just emits the broadcast event, which means in that case, all the data would be refreshed everywhere. And that broadcast component is loaded where, can you guess, in the main app blade file, in the main layout with all the HTML at the bottom, we have this. So this is an interesting solution. To be honest, I haven't reproduced it myself and haven't launched the project. I just looked at the code. So let's discuss, in your opinion, is that an effective solution? Which means that you have live wire component globally in the layout, which broadcasts event and the main part. In the view of that component, we have this. 
If I understand correctly, that means that every five seconds, there's a new broadcast event happening to refresh everything on the page. I guess it's pretty effective if you have server management system and you want to constantly check for new updates on some operations or something, but I'm not entirely sure if it doesn't run too many queries to the database. Again, I haven't reproduced it myself. Maybe some of you can install that project locally and try to run it and see the queries and then put in the comments what you find out. But the point of this video was to show you two things, live wire architectural structure, which is not ideal in my opinion, and also interesting kind of unique in a way I haven't seen it this way, wire poll with broadcast with global trade on many live wire components. What do you think about those two? Or maybe you use live wire in a different way? Let's discuss in the comments. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.